Hey guys, this is Melody and this week I'm finally moving. So my bathroom is like started becoming a mess. But basically, I'm just packing up all the non-essential stuff. So all my cleaning supplies I also need to leave. Because when I pack to move out, I'm going to have to clean everything. So I'm just like some of this stuff is just like random. I'll start through it when we get there and organize it. But I have almost a whole box full. Okay, so this is the progress I made. Uh, box up some books and I'm realizing I definitely don't have enough small boxes. The problem with books is that they're really heavy. I also have an extra one over here. Um, so you don't want to put them in large boxes. So I think I'm going to ask my co-workers and um, Thomas, he works somewhere where they like use a lot of boxes and throw away a lot of boxes. So if anybody has boxes, I'm going to ask them to send them my way, especially if they're on the like kind of smaller side. Anyway, it's like 7.30 now. I think I'm gonna stop, maybe watch a few YouTube videos. I'm a little bit hungry because all I had for dinner was a pancake. Um, so I think I might have a bowl of cereal or something. I know that's a great dinner, but that's just how it is. It's gonna be like this till we move probably. I just, I'm so ready. I'm so ready, I can't even tell you. I'm ready except that I don't have nearly enough boxes. Um, that's, that's holding me back right now, but hopefully I'll get some more boxes and I'll pack up some more tomorrow and I'll get my little kitty tomorrow. The first meal at the new place, looking at our backyard and all right guys, I thought I would just do a little tour. Thomas is on his way with a U-Haul truck that we filled up with a bunch of stuff. Um, but this is when you first walk in, you have this living room. I'm gonna change to wide lens so you can see a little better. Sorry if it's dark. Um, this lighting isn't great. Uh, there's this like little storage thing, which is cool. Then we have the kitchen. Um, there's better lighting in here. But yeah, this is the kitchen. It is pretty small. So I kind of want to put like a circular table in that corner. There's a yard, which is nice. There's this little tiny bathroom. And then there's this extra room, which is gonna turn into a computer room, washer dryer. There is a garage, but it is a small garage. A car cannot fit here, but I figure it'd be good for really messy crafts or just general storage stuff, maybe working out. And then, if we go up the stairs, there's this weird little storage thing right here. Like, I don't know, it's a little creepy. But I figure I can fit a Christmas tree or something in there. There's this bathroom. Ignore me, cause I am sweaty from moving stuff. There's this storage stuff. There's a bedroom right here, which might be the art studio or a bedroom. I'm not sure which yet. There's another like storage thing here. And then this, the other bedroom. And there's this closet. Um, this is kind of like awkward. I don't know if I'll leave this here or like take it out, put something else in. I don't know, it's just kind of odd. Anyway, that is a quick little empty house tour. Um, Thomas just pulled up the U-Haul, so I'm gonna help him unload it. Okay, so update on moving. Basically, we got a U-Haul and we haven't finished moving everything. Traffic's getting bad. We have to return it by four. So like, we're just in a rush to grab things. Um, obviously, small stuff we could just take in our cars, but it's just kind of inconvenient. So I have a lady in the car with me. We're gonna take her back. And then we're gonna come back to my place well, the studio, and um, get like the kitchen stuff because I would like to eat. So uh, yeah, we were able to 
grab pretty much all my clothes though, but I need all like my makeup and stuff so that I can go to work tomorrow. Um, I almost wish that I had taken tomorrow off just because this is like a little bit stressful if I'm being honest. It's just a lot of chaos and I don't like chaos. I like things to be organized and nice and neat. So yes. So this is kind of the state of things right now. My cats are in the upstairs bathroom. Um, there's still more stuff to move. We got not much in here. Basically, I just need coffee for the morning. Um, Thomas is gonna pick up some pizza. He's also bringing more stuff over. There's a lot. So we're gonna at least try to, well, I'm going to at least try to find my clothes so I can at least have stuff to wear to work tomorrow. And then also like bathroom stuff. I need to be able to do my hair and makeup, so. That's kind of priority right now. And uh, getting a bed put together, that would probably be good too. And here's the fluffer. Hi, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> As you can see, they're kind of becoming buddies. <laughs> Although I think she finds him a little annoying sometimes because he'll just come up and whack her in the face like he just did. But it's pretty cute seeing them get along together. Um, last night, they were both in bed for a little while. Hi. Honestly, I'm loving the fact that like I can look outside and see the sun and I'm not just looking out and seeing a courtyard of people smoking or dogs pooping. So um, it's nice that I can open windows without feeling weird about it. Um, still a lot of work to do, but I'm home for lunch. My Fitbit died. I need to charge it. Um, but the bedroom is set up, obviously, because I slept here. And uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. It's Wednesday, it's like noon, so I'm gonna eat lunch. I do have some work that I should probably get done. And I have a meeting at three till like 4.30. So I'm gonna do that and then start unpacking and doing all that stuff. And I took the rest of the week off. So we actually already have Friday off because of Labor Day. The company gave us an extra day and then I have Monday off because that is actually Labor Day. So then I'm also taking Thursday off. So I have a five day weekend to like work on moving and stuff. So hopefully I can get a lot done. The only problem that has happened so far is there's an electrical problem, but he did, I don't know if it's the same problem, but the, Landlord said that they were aware of some small electrical problem and there was a contractor that was going to be working on it and um, obviously it's not fixed and it causes power to go out in the upstairs, but <laughs> we discovered if you turn the stove on, it brings the power back on. And I'm not really sure how that works, but it does. So anyway, um, the contractor is supposed to call and hopefully come and fix it soon so that I don't have to worry about it. Also, um, I just really like the fact that there's actually light. I appreciate this. I feel like my lighting is going to be so much better in this place. Um, the living room, unfortunately, has zero lighting, but we'll be getting lamps and stuff to hopefully brighten it up some. And there is a window at least that I can open. So there's that. Anyway, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat lunch. Lunch today is leftover Little Caesars because it's literally the only thing in my fridge right now. Um, and I can use the oven at least, so I just threw these in there. All right guys, work is over officially now and I've changed into this and some leggings. Um, so now we're gonna unpack and move some more stuff and continue the moving process.
Good morning, guys. It is Thursday and I'm tired. Um, I don't think I went to bed till like 10 30, 11 ish last night, and I woke up around 6 this morning. Couldn't fall back asleep, so I eventually just got up. Um, it was really cute. I think it was at like 4 or 4 30. The cats like actually were cuddling together. I had Bran up um, kind of near me, and then Lady jumped up and kind of like lay down and he got up and came and laid right next to her and he was wrapping his arms around her and I think trying to lick her but I couldn't tell if he was biting. Um, after a couple of minutes she got kind of annoyed and left but it was still pretty cute. Anyway, this is day three of moving and there's still a lot to do. I'm about to build a cat tree to put in the bedroom because Lady has been trying to scratch on the bed and I want to discourage that behavior. Um, then I think there will be a Fred Meyer run in the near future. I'll need to get something to eat for breakfast because I have nothing here. I'm just drinking coffee. Um, probably get some groceries. Also gonna pick up a microwave because there's no built-in microwave here. And then gonna finish getting the stuff out of the studio because there's still more stuff. So that is kind of what the day is gonna look like. Well, here is the cat tree all put together. Um, I do have two extra screws, but I literally follow the directions, so I'm pretty sure they just gave me extra. I didn't count beforehand. And he's over here going crazy, he's trying to chew my cords, which is a habit we need to break. Okay, so closet has been mostly organized. I have like my tank tops here, uh, my t-shirts that fit, my oversized t-shirts, and sweaters. I have a lot of stuff that's dirty and needs to be washed, so we'll get to that later. I need to buy more laundry detergent. And then I put all my jeans here, and I used to work retail, so I fold them the way that they fold them at Old Navy, and just my shorts. Um, underwear stuff in here, obviously you don't need to see that. And I have all my like fuzzy and like long socks all my normal socks are in here and then all my workout clothes so my shorts my leggings and my um like shirts i have my dirty laundry hamper there and then everything else is hung up i also ended up putting this cat tree in the corner because the other one made it kind of difficult to walk through the bed um, and i wanted to be able to actually get by also because of brands or chewing addiction. I didn't want to tempt him too much and the platform for the other one was like right at the cord. Um, and he literally right after I put it there jumped up and started trying to chew on it. So this seemed like a safer option. I'll see how the other one, the other one look, looks pretty nice and I want to get like a gray couch. So I feel like it would look good in the living room anyway. Cause I had heard that having cat trees near things that the cats want to scratch on um, can help deter it. Lady has scratched on this bed a couple times, so I'm hoping having this will keep her from doing that, and hopefully having the other cat tree will help keep her from uh, scratching on the couch. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get dressed and hopefully head to like Fred Meyer pretty soon here. Okay, so everything <laughs> has been moved and the living room is just full of stuff. So now I get to put it all away.
Yay! Good morning guys, it is Friday and a lot has been accomplished in the kitchen. Um, mostly building a table. So Thomas really put this table together um, and I sort of built the chairs. He had to help me because it was kind of a nightmare. Uh, and we have two more chairs to build, so that's fun because it took several hours to build everything. But I think it looks really nice in this space. I don't know, I like it. Another morning of eating fast food for breakfast. I think this is day three or four in a row. But we're moving a lot, so hopefully we don't gain weight. All right, guys, so a couch has been acquired, and this is kind of just the state of the living room at the moment. And the one thing you'll notice is that it is super dark, and that's because there are no lights in here. So um, I want to continue working on this. I have this like thing which will have PlayStation, Xbox, whatever in it, but I also on top want to maybe have a plant or two, some picture frames, um, definitely a lamp because we need lighting in here. So I'm gonna go out to like Ross, Target, Home Depot, um, wherever I can think to find maybe lamps. I also need a curtain rod for this guy. So if you don't know, there are these things called no-no brackets and they're supposed to just slip over this thing up here and um, then you can hang a curtain rod from it and actually put curtains over it because let's be real, they're not, that's not cute. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully find curtains. The thing is it's kind of an awkward length, so I don't know if I'll find anything good. So I need a curtain rod, I need that, I need lamps because it is so dark in here. Um, yeah, I think that's mostly what we're looking for. And then I also have this thing that I need to hang up. So I just built this. Um, it's like a coat hanger thing. And I want it to go right here somewhere because we have the front door right there. And I put these little things up so I can hang my keys because I always lose my keys. So it worked well at the studio to have a little hook for my keys because I always knew that my keys were gonna be there because as soon as I walked in the door, I put them away so that there was no chance of me losing them. And I've been really anxious the last couple of days thinking like, oh no, I'm gonna put my keys somewhere weird. So I've got that sorted out. We're gonna leave the house now and um, I'll take you shopping with me. I honestly don't know if this vlog is gonna be like a full vlog or if I'm gonna end it and make it multiple because this vlog could potentially be really long. The whole moving process is like, it just takes a while, you know, and getting all the furniture, putting it together, everything. Um, other rooms don't look so nice. So this is a kitchen. Honestly, not bad, except that there's a futon in the middle of it. And that's because it was in the kitchen and um, it will hopefully be stored in this room, which is gonna be like the office computer room. But at the moment, there's so many cables and things to sort through that we just need to get it organized for a futon can even fit. Um, also, I'm out of trash and recycling room and my trash and recycling here. Thankfully, I still technically have access to my studio through um, like for the next few weeks anyway. So I can toss all of my recycling and stuff over there. So I'm probably just gonna do one really big trip in my car full of just recycling and trash that I can't throw right here and toss it all in those because I can throw as much in there as I want. Anyway, let's go for real now. Also, I got a little doormat. Hey guys, this is Melody from the future trying to edit this mess. Um, I think I'm gonna end up breaking up 
the moving process into two or three different videos. So I'm going to end this here. Um, I probably did have an ending at some point in these video clips, but I cannot for the life of me find it. So um, we're splitting them up because otherwise we're going to have like a two hour long video and that seems a little bit unnecessary. So I'm going to try to keep these between like 20 and 30 minutes if I can. Anyway, stay tuned for the next one if you're enjoying this and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!